Right? A couple things. <laughs> so in today's lab, we will be looking at um, preserved grasshoppers. Um, and you're going to have to know some of the parts of the grasshoppers. These are um, sort of general. You know, the grasshoppers are a type of insect, obviously. Um, they're very closely related to things like um, crickets and locusts and things like that. I'm sure you've all seen grasshoppers before. Um, and so most of their parts are, they have in common with lots of other insects as well. So by looking at grasshoppers, you understand uh, many different types of insects. So one of the defining characteristics of um, the insect class is the number of body sections. That's one thing that makes it different from um, arachnids. Arachnids have two main body sections. Um, insects have three. And that's where I label first. Now, the, the first region up here, probably guess what that region is called. Yeah, that's the hive. Um, then you have the middle. So the head is where many of the sense organs are the antennae, the eyes, the mouth, so on. Um, the second section, is where legs and wings attach. You know uh, what that would be called? Yeah, the thorax. And then the last section is where uh, most of the reproductive organs are. You know what that would be called? What? Abdomen. Head, thorax, and the abdomen. Those are the three main uh, body sections. And so um, we look at some of the actual individual parts of the, um, of the grasshopper. Uh, what do we call leaves number four? Antennae. One is an antenna. Multiple are antennae. Um, and they are sense organs. The antennae, um, some are used for um, feeling, some are used to um, sort of like smelling, to sense certain chemicals that are in the air. They have various functions, but they're generally um, sense organs to take in information for the grasshopper. Number five. Yeah, and now, do you know anything about insects' eyes, or the eyes of many insects, and what makes them different from other organisms, Noreen? Yeah, it's like a kaleidoscope. They're called, do you know what it's called? What kind of eye? What is something with multiple parts? A microscope with multiple lenses. A word made of more than one word combined. Compound. Yes, it's a compound eye. Okay, and a compound eye has a series of smaller lenses and receptors. Um, you know, and if you look at a very close uh, electron microscope image of an insect's eye. And you can see all these many little um, tiny, it's made of many sort of smaller uh, receptors. And so people always say, well, what does it look like? Oh, uh, it's hard to say what it looks like. And I mean, insects have not even quite a brain, but you know, um, groups of clusters of cells. So I, I don't know what it looks like. No way. Why don't we just make a glass like that? Because it's not just like those are just individual lenses. Each one is a separate receptor. So all of that information, that visual information, somehow is being processed by the insect's nervous system. It's like a golf ball. Yeah. All right. Um, number six. The mouth, no. and we're going to call these mouth parts. Grasshoppers have specialized several um, specialized mouth parts for chewing and ingesting food. Now, what do grasshoppers eat? Grass. Crickets. They would eat some grass. Um, they mostly um, eat plant matter. They will eat some um, smaller insects or some uh, things like that. But generally, they eat grass and stuff and plants. Um, and they use those mouth parts for cutting and chewing. They have basic salivary glands to secrete some enzymes. So, how about number seven? 
Now you don't probably don't know the name, but if you look along the abdomen, there's a um, horizontal line that runs the length of the ab abdomen. Just above that are these tiny little holes. Can you guess what their function is? Ventilation. Yeah, you're pretty much correct. They're called spiracles, and they're for taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide. Okay, the grasshopper has no lungs. Doesn't really have specialized respiratory organs. Basically, these tubes lead into the interior of the grasshopper where oxygen can enter. They have um, an open circulatory system, which means their body fluid, their blood, if you will, doesn't, um, isn't contained in vessels. It's just sort of open. All of their interior tissue is surrounded by this fluid. So those are the spiracles for breathing. Number eight, okay? Number eight, this is a female grasshopper, okay? And the female grasshopper has an organ at the end of the abdomen. It's called the ova. Oh, these are the spiracles. I know it's tough to see here. But you can see these tiny little dots just above that line. Um, but these, uh, this ovipositor is for depositing eggs, okay? This, um, grasshoppers, like other insects, can reproduce sexually. Okay, and the female carries eggs, which are laid and an hatch into um, grasshopper nymphs. So the female grasshopper has this ovipositor at the end of the abdomen. There are sort of four prongs, four sort of pointy prongs at the end. The male grasshopper doesn't have that. It has sort of a round, more rounded end of the abdomen. So when you're looking at your grasshoppers, you have to tell whether it's a male or female grasshopper by looking at the end of the abdomen. Number nine? Wings. Yeah, nine out of the wings. Now, yours are not going to quite look like this. Grasshopper actually has four total wings, a pair on each side. The upper wings, the top wings, are sort of a hard, they're not adapted for flying. They're adapted for protection, okay? Um, and they are sort of just a hard, thick wing. And they cover the wings that are underneath which are very thin, um, membranous wings. They're very, very thin. They sort of open up and stretch out. And those are actually the wings that the grasshopper uses for flying. Now, grasshoppers don't really fly place to place, but as they jump, they, they open up those wings, and they could use them to move along uh, quite a great distance. And so when you look at your grasshopper, if you lift up the top wing, you can see the smaller wing underneath it, the thinner wing that's actually used for flying. And then finally, Number 10, legs. Okay, grasshoppers, obviously, their hind legs are different from the front legs. All insects have how many legs? Six. Six. Their hind legs are adapted for jumping. Um, they, have, they have muscular um, upper legs that they use for jumping. They also rub their legs against their um, abdomen. Okay. Um, and against their wings to produce sounds. That's what crickets, that's when you hear crickets. Um, outside, that's the sound. They're related to grasshoppers. They have a tympanum. It's behind, it's sort of over here. You may be able to see it. Uh, you can't see it in this image. But it is, um, it's how they hear the sounds from other grasshoppers. Yeah? Will we have, will we have a uh, yeah, you'll have to know them. So just another view at the antenna, the compound I had thorax abdomen. Yeah, here's the tympanum. See, it's a soft little membrane just underneath the wing. Um, tonight at home, to complete your lab, I also posted online a, a video, I didn't make it, of somebody going through some of the external anatomy of the grasshopper. So if you get home and you're working...